The modern concrete jungle of the city is populated by a select few species, dominated by us, Homo sapiens. This man-made world is so out of touch with nature that zoos and parks are the closest most of us get to biodiversity. A subtle but profound effect of this isolation is that we hardly understand other species. We view them not as sentient equals, but as resources and tools. When the documentary My Octopus Teacher was released on Netflix, it immediately received popular and critical acclaim. Beside Craig Foster's beautiful filmmaking and powerful storytelling skills, much of the reason why the documentary was so well loved was the creature's unexpected intelligence and the unlikely friendship forged. After all, most of us regard octopus only as seafood. Besides documentaries like this narrating personal and emotional experiences with non-human intelligence, there is substantial and growing research documenting the complex cognition of species ranging from cephalopods to insects and even slime molds. Being more aware of these scientific findings can crack our egotistical echo chamber and fundamentally change how we view our place in nature. Octopuses are cephalopods, a class of invertebrate mollusks that also include squid and cuttlefish. In the wild, they have been observed to constantly adapt and improve their use of tools and mimicry, showing a powerful ability to learn and problem solve. In the lab, researchers have found that cephalopods seem to possess two common traits of cognition, episodic-like memory and self-recognition. Episodic-like memory refers to the recalling of details about past events and is demonstrated if the animal can remember the what, where, and when. In one experiment, cuttlefish remembered which visual cue was associated with which food option, what, the locations of the two food options in the tank, where, and the times at which they would be fed, when. Self-recognition, on the other hand, has been documented in experiments when squids recognize and interact with their reflections in a mirror. While humans and cephalopods are vastly different in many ways, these overlaps in our intelligence force us to reconsider whether the human mind is really so unique. Bees are revered by environmentalists as key pollinators, loved by gastronomers for their honey, and have been immortalized in popular culture through their starring roles in films such as the Bee Movie. Their painful stings and small size make it hard to believe that we share much in common. But these tiny brain bugs are highly intelligent. One way in which scientists measure cognition is through behavioral flexibility, the ability to adapt to changes in your environment. This seemingly simple skill reflects the presence of various other cognitive capabilities, such as planning, reflection, and imagination. In one study, researchers found that bees were able to observe and learn to perform the novel task of rolling a ball into a hole. Importantly, they were not simply imitating what they were taught, but instead found more efficient ways of completing the task. In a separate experiment, bees were also found to be amazingly good at recognizing human faces after only a few dozen training sessions. This means they have the ability to tell you and I apart. I doubt we can do the same for them. While cephalopods and bees are very different from us hominids, we still share substantial physiological and evolutionary similarities that situate us all within the animal kingdom. But what about living things outside of this? Can we find signs of intelligence in our very distant relatives? The answer, as it turns out, is yes. Slime molds sit on the periphery of what we would normally regard as living. They are found crawling on forest floors and without a bit of background knowledge, could very easily be dismissed as a mere stain. A group of Japanese researchers have revealed slime mold's fascinating ability to maximize spatial efficiency and problem solve. When the team arranged pieces of oatmeal on agar, the slime mold grew towards these food sources via the most efficient pathways within days, forming a pattern reflecting the transportation networks in major cities designed by human engineers over decades. They are able to achieve this by secreting a substance marking the paths they have already taken, essentially leaving breadcrumbs that allow them to save time and explore new pathways. By using drastically different methods to accomplish a complex task like this, slime molds force us to fundamentally rethink what intelligence can look like. 
We are currently experiencing the sixth mass extinction, yet few people seem alarmed. As a society, our lives revolve around man-made constructs like the economy, social media and status symbols, and we have become ignorant of our surroundings. This insulated bubble has inflated our egos, causing us to assume that we are innately superior. No other species builds skyscrapers, scroll on their phones or keep track of the stock market. Surely we must be special. We're so pleased with ourselves that we even hesitate to call ourselves animals. Looking at the intelligent behaviours of other living things, you cannot help but be surprised by our similarities and fascinated by the ingenuity. Shedding light on non-human intelligence is the first step towards remembering that we are all interconnected. We function as a system and its corrosion will affect us all. It is this understanding and the compassion that comes with it that will help save our biodiversity.